to the to the session. Lovely. So, um, okay. So, welcome everybody to this lovely session that we're now hosting here. Um, there has been a lovely project. I'm going to introduce you to Peter uh, in just one second. But first of all, uh, we have we um, it's been very exciting uh, that as part of the centenary. We've had Peter Chadwick, who um, has been um, uh, coming to Summerhill School and been making a film. I'm not going to be telling much more about it because we've, we're so happy to have the actual filmmaker with us. And so we have the opportunity to actually speak to Peter himself. So, Peter, thank you so much. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you so much for coming. And great. Uh, we're very, very excited about this film. I wondered if, first of all, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and, and, and um, you know, what, what your connections with Summerhill has been and then the, where the inspirations for the film has come about and, and that sort of thing? Yes, yes, that'd be great. Um, um, both my parents um, were teachers at Summerhill uh, before the war. Uh, uh, my father was Paxton Chadwick, um, but everyone uh, uh, called him Chad, <laughs> and, and he was Neil's secretary for a while, which involved playing a lot of golf, I guess. <laughs> And Peter, just quickly, what year was that, Peter? What year would have that been? When your father was uh, a uh, new secretary, roughly, what year would have that been? Uh, um, that would have been in the 1930s, uh, before 1930s. the war. 1930s, yeah. Um, Zoe, I see you have your hand up. Do you want to add something, Zoe? If you unmute, Zoe. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just going. I was just going to say that, talking about the golf, he actually features in Neil's novel the last yes. live um yes. chad is, is 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 made into concrete or made into stone when he's <laughs> in the middle of a golf swing and it's very funny <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing okay so peter please carry on please carry on with your story yeah and then my mother um was also a teacher there uh, 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 um actually that was where they met so I owe my existence to Summerhill. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I think there's lots of love that needs yeah. to be expressed for that, isn't there? So yeah. much love. How amazing that is. Yeah. The little uh, heart. That's it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just doing it the digital way and I'm doing the love <laughs> of it. Amazing. And uh, yeah. uh, 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 my mother taught English. Mm. And, um, mm. and one of her pupils was um, Gita Serini. Uh, um, who went on to be a very famous author, and he, wow. she thanked uh, um, Lee, my mother, uh, um, for teaching her at Summerhill in one of her books. Oh, amazing. Uh, so, oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. yeah. And then, then um, um, just after the war, um, when I was four and a half, um, I came to Summerhill very briefly. Uh, myself, oh, um, yeah. um, but I think I was too young. There weren't any other um, kids around my age, so so they probably they probably lost you, Peter. I imagine everybody going around, and you would have been so small that everybody would have been. I'm sure there was a little person. Has anyone seen the little child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. So so I ended up. Um, um, going to the local primary school, um, uh, um, uh, um, where all my little friends and uh, um, where I lived uh, were going. So, so I only yeah. stayed at Summerhill, I think, for about nine months or something. Oh, and, amazing! Oh. Um, 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 and my mother used to give me packed lunches, uh, which were marmite and cheese sandwiches. Um, <laughs> Um, which were very popular with the other kids. So yeah. I, I learned that I got to climb up a tree um, so I didn't get my sandwiches pinched. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... And I also... So learned, that, uh, just a, a, yeah. a little lesson to everybody there, that's tree climbing for a very different type of survival needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very 
nice. Okay. Um, and I also learned that I could be magnanimous and hand down a little bit of a sandwich if if, <laughs> if I went if if I wanted to to the other kids who were try, who were very <laughs> fond of them. <laughs> oh, amazing! Oh, amazing! Yeah. Then to jump right forward to to. I think it was five years ago I came to the 95th uh, uh, reunion. And, reunion, uh, that's right. Yes, the yeah. reunion we had, 95, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I I had, um, in in the, the 1970s, um, yeah. I'd, I'd done filmmaking on expeditions and I'd made... Oh. To, uh, um, films of expeditions actually going on them, and it, it, it was very, very exciting. But in 1976, um, um, uh, um, I was on an expedition uh, to climb a volcano in Ecuador, oh. and the volcano erupted, <laughs> and and it killed two of us. Really? Yeah, and. Mm. And I got a broken arm, and, really, uh, and other members of the people were badly injured, really, and uh, and there were great big rocks which rained down out of the sky when it erupted, really, uh, uh, which hit us. And you said that and, was nineteen seventy six. Did you say nineteen seventy six? Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, and the way that I survived. Um, was that I threw myself down the ice sl uh, slope and uh, I fell a thousand feet uh, mm. uh, uh, with a broken arm. Really? Uh, but I survived. It was absolutely terrifying. Ooh. And and, um, uh, and two of my... Uh, <laughs> and and uh, um, um, two of my best friends were killed. Really, so it, was, it, it was awful, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm, yeah, it was oh. it, it, it was turned into a film on the Discovery Channel years ago. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't, be, I can't yeah. believe it was amazing to be hearing this now, Peter. It's amazing. Mm. I mean, I, I what 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 well, uh, a phenomenal thing to be happening mm. in your life. What uh, yeah. So, so, so that actually put paid to my filmmaking career. Yeah. Uh, uh, but then, then in uh, uh, then in this century, I I was able and wanted to go back to filmmaking. Yeah. And uh, I uh, one of the ideas I had was to make a film about Summerhill. Mm -hmm. um, so I came to the ninety fifth reunion. And I filmed, oh, Zoe's got her hand up. I, I, was yeah. just, I was just going to say, but during the other rest of the time, you, you're quite a renowned photographer, still photographer as well, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and I later actually, uh, actually went into printmaking uh, and I do etchings and things like that. And I got, yes, that's been quite successful as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, amazing, amazing. Yeah. And at the 95th reunion, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, we were still talking over the idea of making a film about Summerhill, um, but it was agreed that I could interview um, some of the ex-pupils, and, uh, and I filmed some of those, including Warraby, who's here. Who's <laughs> And we, we, can actually, we can actually bring Warby in in a few minutes, maybe. We'll actually ask you a question or two about it, Warby. If you just one second, though, go back to Peter. Carry on, Peter. Yeah. And then I got those interviews on film, and then then um, uh, uh, and then you agreed that it was a very nice idea to make a film about Summerhill. Yeah, yeah. And what the premise was that I would do it completely myself uh, 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 because it wouldn't be a natural film with a film crew or anything yeah, yeah. and I sort of really 
um, uh, my previous films of expeditions had all been on film, film, it, it, back in the old days. With the reel, on reels, of course. Yeah, yeah take enormous yeah. amounts of incredibly expensive film. Yeah. And then I, I really got into the digital age and I realised that, that there were fantastic um, expensive cameras now that you that 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 you could do as good or better than film quality. Yes. Yes. So so I started filming, and I also realised that if I was doing it on my own, um, um, one of the very important things uh, uh, was to get very good sound quality. And I, what I ended up doing was getting a load of radio mics, which were connected up to the camera. Mm. Um, so I could put a sort of a, a button mic on people talking. Yeah. And I could, I, I, I could plant sort of uh, um, uh, um, gun mics all over the place, which were all connected up to the camera yeah. and, and that you didn't have to go to or anything. And they, the, uh, and uh, and they all recorded excellent sound. And, so, and I'll just quickly add to that, just quickly, Peter, I'll just add to something little on that, is, you know, the footage that you got of our meeting, it's a <laughs> lovely, it, you managed to capture it very nicely because of the microphones you had at the time. You had lots of microphones around yes. the lounge. And I remember that very clearly, that actually capturing, capturing a Summerhill meeting has been one of the, the big challenges have come to Summerhill to how to try and capture it in uh, so that you can actually hear everything well and not jumping around and trying, Absolutely. you know, and I remember yeah. that was a wonderful thing. I've just seen that Zoe had a hand up, so I'm just going to bring her in just quickly. Zoe, do you want to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say that the lounge is notoriously bad acoustics for filming and over the years, exactly. of course, we've had hundreds of film crews and they've all found it really, really difficult to do. But I, yeah. I think that, you know, the method that you were using, Peter, seems to, well, we've yet to see more, but I mean, what you know, from what I've seen, the bits I've seen, it seemed to work really well. The really difficulty lovely. also is that you've got to try, you've got the chair talking and then you've got the, the, the community talking and it's very hard to actually follow a case. Um, yeah, so I had two cameras. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 one trained on the chair and then one following. Uh, uh, and I just set the camera trained on the chair uh, um, to work on its own. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember. I remember. Yes, so you have and, and also to say that the, you know the community itself has been incredibly um, supportive of what you've done. You know the children; they never were oh. saying, "Oh, for goodness' sake, we want to get our meeting started." Everybody was very accommodating, weren't they? Which was yeah. Nice. yeah. I I just loved being there, filming over nearly two years. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and what was very interesting was was that most of the filming was done at done with a big camera on a, on a big tripod. Yeah. So it was really sort of a big presence. Yeah, yeah. And I found that the children just um, um, completely ignored it. Yeah. And yeah. They, they began to treat me like part of the furniture. Yeah, as, as one of the, I think, climbing frame. I think you became a bit of a climbing frame, Peter, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> So it was absolutely wonderful to get this completely natural footage. And I found that when I used a small camera, uh, uh, the, re uh, the reaction was different. It, mm. it was as though people found it slightly intrusive. I, I, I mean, they weren't, uh, uh, they weren't against being filmed, but, yeah. but, yeah. they, but the, the sequences weren't as natural as with the big camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and the big camera, they just just treated completely as part of the furniture. Yeah. Um, Peter, I'm just going to bring something in uh, that I feel that I, I want to mention. And Zoe, I'm sure you'll resonate very strongly with this as well, is that, um, as many people know, Summerhill is a very, very relaxed, very natural community um, of children being very free and very pure. And capturing Summerhill on film has something that that has always been we have always found difficult to be um uh the actual the actual Henry, Henry you're breaking up we didn't hear that 
and we're That's breaking up. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's my connection now. Um, so um, to be able to capture the energy um, of Summerhill School it, in film has been something that we've for a long time we've been very uh, uh, struggled with a little bit. Uh, a film crew would come in. They want to do a film about Summerhill and they, you know, that they come in for three days and, and they're, they're strangers a bit and, you know, not quite acting rela- uh, com- uh, uh, very naturally is the, is the right word. Um, and, I, and I think that um, two things, first of all, Peter, with the, um, first of all, with the, the you lived locally, the fact that you're you you know you wanted to make the film, you wanted to be coming in pretty much every day, um, and you would literally become one of the trees, one of the one of the one of the yeah. one of the um, uh, part of the furniture, and um, and at the beginning there would have been kids who wanted a bit of attention or something, and they would have been sort of uh, they weren't just bumbling on with their lives, but after a few days or a week or so. They just they carried on, and so that I think that from what I've I, I can only say because I've only seen it so far, but what I've seen of the footage, it's really beautiful because it's because it's very sincerely natural, and I think that that's something that's really really lovely. Um, oh, Zoe, I thank, had your hand up. Uh, thank you, Henry. I've just realised we we've probably only got about three minutes left, so I'd like to just come in. With the, no, no, uh, Peter. Uh, Peter, oh, we've I... got one hour. We've got one hour. Oh. Peter, we've got a whole hour. Oh, there's loads of time. Yeah, we're going up to 11. Sorry, yeah. yeah, we're going up. We're going 30, so don't worry. We've got some Great. more time. I didn't want this to be quick. Don't worry, oh, Peter. I don't really? want this to be quick. <laughs> Zoe, you had your hand. Do you want to add something? Zoe, uh, no? No. Okay, good. So, but this might be a good time to um, to talk about that. Actually, no. What I'll just quickly do. I'll just go go across to Warby just quickly. Warby, do you remember when Peter Chadwick interviewed you? Do you remember? Because so so was it at one of the reunions? Do you want to tell tell us something about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember. It was at the ninety fifth reunion, if I recall. Mm-hmm. And um, Peter. Um, approached me and uh, of course I was quite happy to give the interview it's great I think if I remember rightly I think we sat in class one I think Peter I think it was Uh, I think it was yeah and uh, as Peter was saying he had this really big impressive camera I was like oh my word this is serious bit of kit here (laughs) (laughs) okay this is looking really serious I'm like okay Um, but yeah it it was really nice Um, you know I just sort of said what I had to say, which is how, how great uh, Summerhill has been for me and all the rest of it. And mm. yeah, it was lovely. It was just lovely, really lovely. Nice. just being at the reunion, but spending a bit of time um, giving my feedback and uh, my thoughts on, you know, Summerhill and everything else. Mm. And uh, yeah, and also the fact that I have, you know, my own um, uh, kids there and everything. So it's, it's, it's great, really. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, and we're going to have an opportunity to speak to Warby a bit more because, well, a few things. First of all, this afternoon on Saturday, Warby and myself and some of the kids from school are going to be doing a music performance. So that you should all come to because it'll be loud and silly and fun. Um, but Warby is also going to join us for the Q&A session on Sunday morning. And we've got a selection of ex-pupils who are going to be uh, a panel of ex-pupils tomorrow morning is also going to be happening. So Warby will join us for that. Zoe, you've got your hand up. Do you want to add something? Yeah, I was just going to say, I think Warby will, will understand this as well. I think one of the, the wonderful things for us is that we have never before had somebody who wants to make a film about Summerhill who's a trusted friend. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it's not about mistrusting. It's not about sensationalism. I know that Summerhill's, you know, the, the sensationalist's dream. And we've, <laughs> yeah. we've always been the school that the media loves to hate. And we know all that. And we've been there. But it's more than that. It's about, as, as you were saying, I think, Henry, it's about being able to explain what Summerhill really is. And unless you've got somebody who has a connection with the school, and a love for the school, and, and, and you know, with, with Peter's family history involvement with the school as well, um, yeah. it makes it very different for all of us, the pupils, the, the, the adults, and ex-pupils and everybody, it makes us feel like we're talking to a friend and that we are, 
that we're actually doing something that we trust. And I think that's yeah. made a huge difference. And I think it's really time for for such a film to be there, you know, for, for the archives, for the future, just the, how does how does Summerhill work? It doesn't have to be a, you know, a, a sensational thing, looking at all the, you know, drug, sex and rock and roll that people are always trying to pin onto Summerhill, but just to have something that's that's actually, yeah, how does it work? And, and so the bits that I've seen have been lovely and I'm really looking forward to the whole thing. Um, well, probably that's uh, probably that's quite a good time now to uh, actually watch the trailer because I'm sure we've got the audience who are all sitting there now going, yeah, but we want to actually watch some of this. Um, so first, uh, first of all, so Peter, sh should we do that? Should we show the? Should we show it now? What's your th What's your feeling? Could I, could I just say a couple of things? Just yes, of course. That. Yeah. Of course, um, Peter. Of course, Peter. Yeah. Please. Um. Um. Um, one of the things was that after I left Summerhill as a very young child and I grew up, um, I sort of say I went to Summerhill and I'll explain that, that um, children's didn't have, uh, children didn't have to go to lessons, um, could wear what they like. And, and everybody I told would always say, how does that work? So, yeah. so the yeah. title of my film is How Summerhill Works. Yeah. <laughs> and and it, it, is, it is on a website which is called howsummerhillworks.com, uh, uh, the, the trailer mm. and the full film can be viewed on that website. And yeah. What was what was really lucky was that actually, as I grew up and as an adult, I couldn't have told you how something worked. I just knew it was a lovely place, and uh, and that. But I didn't really know know all the all the theory behind it and the and and how it worked in practice at all. So, so coming to Summerhill for two years was a was an absolutely lovely learning process for me. And what was especially lucky was there was um, the Summerhill Experience Conference during my time yes. filming, and and uh, um, Zoe and uh, and you, Henry, and and other. Um, uh, 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 talkers actually explained over three days how Summerhill worked. So I, I was able to incorporate that knowledge in my film. And um, the film that's on the website, which I've made now, is an hour and a half long um, uh, um, feature length film. Um, but, but I haven't used very much of the Summerhill Experience conference footage in it, which I have filmed a lot of, and I've got some amazing footage. So yeah. what I'm planning to do is for next year to do a mini series, which will be an expansion of this film Mm. And it will probably be three uh, one-hour films in the miniseries, which will include more in-depth stuff. Yeah. And uh, and actually, I've not included Warabi's interview interview in this current film, <laughs> but it will be included in the next uh, in the miniseries. Yeah, yeah. So. So that's the yeah. So yeah. That, that's the well, sort of <clears throat> exactly. And to add to that, so 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 you know what we've what we've heard from you so far is you had two years filming footage at Summerhill School itself within the community. You yeah. then filmed the Summerhill Experience, which was a wonderful and very unique event. Yeah. 
Oh, terrific. Yeah. And we've also now heard that you were interviewing ex-pupils as far back as 1995. Yeah. So um, <laughs> arguably, I think we're sitting with a man who probably has more footage of Summerhill than anybody else. <laughs> I've, uh, 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 I've probably got about 100 hours. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing. Okay, great. So what we're going to do, so now, um, because of... Uh, internet problems I'm I'm having on my end a little bit of internet problems as well so what we're going to do is we're going to share the link for the trailer in the chat so what we want is everybody in the audience to click on the link and go and watch the trailer and the trailer is only about five minutes long five or six minutes long and then when you finish watching the trailer you can come back to the session and just tell us when you come back to the session so we can see everybody or just wave your hand or put a signal so we can see when everybody's back and we'll carry on the conversations after we've watched the, the, uh, watched the trailer. Okay, so we're now, now putting the link into the chat right Ooh. now. It's the link to the trailer. So go to the trailer, watch the trailer and then come back to the session. Um, can I also say that... Um... That if you do a search for how Summerhill works, uh, um, I think the website comes up as well, but the link is best. Henry? Henry, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, Zoe, yeah? Yeah, sorry, I had to just go and let my dog out. Um, I, I missed that. Are we supposed to be going to a link? Yeah, if you go to the chat, Zoe, there's a link in the chat to watch Peter's oh. uh, a trailer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so click on the link and then and, and come back to when you finish watching the trailer, come back to us. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Um, uh, um I was wondering, Henry, um you could you could go to the trailer um uh, um on your internet connection if, if even though it might not be good, it would at least have something on the screen. Uh, if we share the screen, we're going to have problems, Peter. Everybody oh, will yeah. just watch it and then come back to it. Just we'll, we'll watch it now and then we'll come back to it. Yeah, lovely.
fantastic leader. Wonderful. Um, I could hear somebody then, but I didn't. Yeah, it's Derry Hannum. Oh, hello, Derry. Hi. Oh, so nice to, to, to hear you again. Lovely. And I hope you got the... Uh, somebody wrote to me asking for consent to use some material, and I'm only too happy to give it if you should actually want to use it. Yeah, yeah. What... Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the main reason for that is, is that I'm hoping that the BBC or other television um, will want to show the film at some point later on. And they yeah. they yeah. require sort of documented um, um, consents and things to show it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, so just quickly, so um, I think we generally got everybody back, I think. Um, we seem to have some thumbs up and everybody has had the opportunity to watch the thing. So first of all, I'll just, we'll just put it to the, to the audience. If anybody um, would like to just sort of say something about what they've seen so far, just from the trailer, just to sort of give us a bit of uh, thoughts about that. Has anybody, if anyone wants to just, un you can just unmute your microphone and just say something about uh, the trailer. You caught some yeah. activity there, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one, of, one of the funny things was that B and Alba uh, uh, would sort of organise yeah. my day. <laughs> they were very smart. I'll just, I'll just, we'll just explain that. B and Alba at the time were, we're I mean, they must have both been five. They would be yeah. arguably our littlest kids in the school. So, uh, so they, so they were just in charge of Peter and just taking. Him down. <laughs> it, was, it was wonderful, and they tell me what <laughs> they wanted me to video them doing next. Sort of thing. Okay, it's so like basically, my, my don't you, don't you. I just say, it's like my youngest grandchild always says, "Watch me, Granny. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> like, watch me. Yeah. Watch me do this." Yeah. So, um, so. Um, a very important information to mention that the, the film was directed by Alba and Eve, two five-year-olds <laughs> at Summerhill <Sunday> School. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would also mention to the audience, if you were slightly concerned about the fact that there was a German person who said that, uh, what was the word? I've forgotten the word. He said that it was the only word to say. He it's okay. Oh, yeah. He's now left the school and he's uh, he's a very successful, he's, he's, he's okay. It, it, you know, he didn't suffer from only knowing the word refrigerator. We just, no. just to let you all know that. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, amazing, amazing. Good. Okay, so um, now, uh, Peter, maybe you could just tell us, um, I mean, do you have any other sort of stories you'd like to tell about the, about about your of of uh, uh, you know, do you have any specific stories that something that, that sticks in your mind specifically that you'd like to tell us about um, about about your time of of uh, filming at Summerhill? Yeah, um, I could just found it like coming home. Mm. It was wonderful. I, I I'd sort of always had a soft spot for Summerhill and the and wonderful family connection. Um um um. Um, and I could remember Neil, and uh, Neil would come and visit us, and, uh, and I can remember him wearing a sandy-coloured um, corduroy coat with sandy-coloured corduroy trousers, <laughs> and he had a sandy-coloured Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> I can I, I can just remember him very clearly. Was, was he uh, wearing... a very sandy person? <laughs> <laughs> his, his, uh, obviously, his de uh, desert camouflage outfit was obviously <laughs> what he was. <laughs> yeah. Zoe, did you want to add something? Uh, he, he had a brother called Sandy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and yeah. and uh, and what was what was very nice was that you that you that you very kindly gave me lunch as well with everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed um, doing that. 
But yeah. then I had to go on a diet halfway through, so I couldn't, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't join the lunches. <laughs> and I, actually, I, I actually did lose 10 kilos <laughs> very quickly. All right, good. All right. Okay, so um, the moral of that story is that Summerhill School, you're fed very well. Yeah, very well. Very I think well. <laughs> that's the moral of the story. Uh, Monsa, I saw you had your hand up. Monsa is the class one teacher. She teaches our youngest children. Um, and she's going to be joining a Q&A session with us tomorrow as well with the staff. So if you want to... But Monsa, you had your hand up if you wanted to say something. Yeah, I just want to say lovely trailer. And I understand that the film is out now. So this is like a launching party or something. So yes. congratulations, Peter. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, you can watch the, the um, trailer and the film on the website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, the film is ticketed for the general public. Mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. But I'll be sending a code to, uh, um, to, uh, um, to everyone involved so, uh, so that they can watch it for free. Yes, with okay. the, for the film, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 people involved in the film and at Summerhill, yeah. And at Summerhill, that's right, okay. And so, and so, but am I right in saying as well, Peter, that, um, that, uh, that it's premiering, it's viewable online uh, between the first of October and the 30th of October is that right yeah it's it's actually actually will be viewable uh, this afternoon through to the 30th 31st of October yeah and when when yeah and when people log in to view it either for a ticket or through the free code um, they will be able to go back and watch it any time during that period. Yeah, amazing. Okay. So, <clears throat> so then, so just quickly for the audience, just to clarify that. So, um, so everybody, if anybody wants to watch the film uh, in during this period of time for the premiere, you'll need to go to the website and actually pay for a ticket to watch the film. Um, uh, but that will allow you that will allow you to watch the film for the whole month whilst it's actually up now. Absolutely. Um, but for the few people for the for the actual Summerhill community, um, they will have a they will have a free code to be able to see it as they were involved with the making of the film. Is that right? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Um, um, the uh, uh, getting a ticket. Actually, actually, what you do is uh, um, you join a members area of the website where you can go to uh, uh, to watch the film. <laughs> and once you've joined the members area, then you can go back and watch it anytime you want. Anytime uh, you want. Uh, uh, during October. So you sort of register yourself to the actual website. That's it. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Okay. Good. All right. Then, well, we've got ourselves about five minutes, uh, pretty much about five minutes left. Um, so uh, the website that to go to, well, as we've already explained, and you can already see, um, uh, www.howsummerhillworks.com is the website to actually go to, to be able to view uh, the tra to view the trailer and then also to view and buy a ticket to, to be able to see the whole film. And am I right, Peter, you said that the film that you have up there at the moment is one and a half hours long? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I can arguably, I think I can safely say, Zoe, please correct me if I'm wrong on this. I think I can safely say this is already going to be the longest film ever made about Summerhill. A, a, apart from the drama, yeah, which was, of course, four episodes. So, but yes, of course, drama, it was over yeah, four uh, episodes. But that was also a fictional. That was a fictional yes, I think thing. It, I think it is the the, the longest documentary, um, definitely that ever been made. And I'm also very excited about the fact that that Peter still has so much footage that he hasn't actually started that he hasn't yeah. used yet. So, <laughs> not only not only can we enjoy the one and a half hours of this amazing film that Peter's put together now, but we can already look forward to, to number two. It's yeah. going to be like, you know, we've got Die Hard 1 and Die Hard 2. We've got... <laughs> 
<laughs> we've got how summer hill works one and how summer hill works two and so on <laughs> I, think, I think i think we'd call it more like james bond actually james <laughs> bond yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly uh, so that's really lovely really really lovely a, a live and let die no live and let live might be a good time yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Never great. let live. Yeah, excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's lots of lovely, lots of lovely fun um, that we can be having with that one. So, okay, so we've got a last five minutes now. So, does anybody who's uh, been watching so far, does anybody want to say anything? Um, you can share anything in the chat if you have any thoughts or if you have a question or anything for Peter or anyone else here in the uh, in the discussion. Um, so if anybody has any, you know, for the last five minutes, uh, yes, uh, Jay, oh, Jay, we love you, Jay. Yeah, I love you guys too. Peter, so, ah, oh, this is so wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh, I think when we were the, in the, can you hear me? Everybody yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. When we were there for the Summer Hero experience, um, we, we were told that we would, have access to the footage. And I think we've been waiting for this so long. Yeah. It's, it's so nice that uh, it's going to be in a proper way, you know, like may, yeah. maybe with care and love and, and yeah. take the time that needs. So uh, thank you very much and looking forward to watching the whole one now, how some of it works and, and the next and the next and the next. Thanks a lot. Um. Um, just to yeah. say that that I finished editing it at four o'clock in the morning on Thursday night. <laughs> oh well, wow! <laughs> so, I can't uh, Peter, it's... finally you'll be able to have some sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Jay was uh, Peter. Jay was actually at the Summer Hill experience. Experience as, yes. a, as, a, as a participant, yeah. And yes. Jay, just for you, Jay, am I right that you did you come from Brazil or did you come from Norway when you came to the Summer Hill Experience? No, I came, I came from Norway. I haven't been Norway. home since uh, 2017, so I was I was in Norway. Already. You were in Norway. Amazing, amazing, yeah. really, yeah. yeah. Where, 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 I, where I am now well. in the Hamel. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm trying, trying to put this precious bit together. Uh, so uh, the Youth Potential South Africa, thank you so much for putting this precious fit together for all the other children in the world. Yeah, amazing. And Derry said, lovely trailer, Peter, so nice to be in touch. Uh, just reinforces my belief that all children everywhere should have this opportunity. Lovely. Um, okay, and, and uh, uh, Katya said, looking forward to watching it. So lovely. Okay, great. Well, uh, Peter, do you have anything last that you'd like to say um, uh, as, as, we, as we round it all up? Um, just really, I suppose I'm, I, um, I suppose that this sort of time of my life, it's, uh, it's been an absolute crowning thing to my career, as well as personally. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, to have been able yeah. to have successfully made this and it all all come together <laughs> it's just yeah and as i say it feels like coming home i feel so so yeah. I, I, actually I, 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 um, I, um, i've been working editing it sort of 10 hours a day seven days a week for the past uh, a year and a half so i'm yeah. I, i'm only just are just beginning to process things emotionally, you know. Yeah. And I'm actually feeling delighted, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Zoe, do you want to, you get your hand up? No, I, I just want the opportunity to say on behalf of Summerhill and on behalf of my dad and on behalf of your dad as well, you know, thanks oh. so much for doing this. It's just been, you know, it's just been so carefully done and done with love and and you've put in so much hard work and we mm. really appreciate it and and thank you so much mm. it, it it just feels that that everything's right and yeah. yeah amazing amazing good okay well let's let's thank end it you. there <laughs> well, <of course. laughs> yeah okay great well let's end it there lots of love thank you so much peter thank you for the wonderful oh. session thanks for joining us at wonderful. the summer festival of childhood and uh, and uh, we'll see you soon. And looking forward to seeing the film. 
Great. Um, great. Okay. Thank oh, you so much, Peter. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 Lots of love. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you stop recording.